survive in their habitats, animals require air, food, water, space to raise their young, and shelter all in the proper arrangements. Let's compare turtles. Turtles live in different habitats. Each is adapted to find food in their territory. Usually, when one thinks of turtles, we think of small creatures. This is a shell from a very large green sea turtle, which swims in the waters of the Chesapeake Bay and the coastal waters of Virginia and beyond. The turtles in Northern Virginia, though, are much smaller. The Eastern box turtle, which lives in woods, meadows, and gardens, has short stumpy legs with claws. These claws are useful for digging up worms, insects, mushrooms, and more. Box turtles bury under leaves and soil for overwintering. Mature box turtles develop a hinge on their plastron, their bottom shell, that enables them to tuck in their head, legs, and tail to protect themselves from harm. Common snapping turtles, which live in ponds, wetlands, or lakes, have webbed feet, longish legs, and a slim profile, which enables them to be great swimmers. Snapping turtles, like all turtles, have beaks and no teeth. Even so, snapping turtles have powerful jaws for eating a varied diet, including plants, tadpoles, frogs, and small birds. See its small plastron? This turtle species cannot withdraw into its shell. To avoid harm, this turtle either swims away or bites. Never try to touch a snapping turtle. You can always recognize this turtle by its long spiky tail. Snapping turtles bury themselves in the muddy bottom of their watery home to overwinter. They absorb sufficient oxygen through the skin on their neck and by their tail to survive. They can actually live without oxygen for up to three months by changing how their metabolism works. All animals are adapted to thrive in their habitat. Their physical characteristics affect their behavior as to how they get a meal, keep from being a meal, and surviving seasonal changes. 